All right, we're back here on This Week in Bison Sports on 101.5 UMFM and Bison's TV. Tell the vast listening audience your name, your position, uh, how many years you've been with the Bisons, and your favorite moment so far this season, if you got one. Uh, Teddy's our quarterback. This is my third year. With on the, the field. On the field with the Bisons. Uh, favorite moment this year is winning homecoming. Gotta love that. You got you got that right. Uh, Bami Adewale, linebacker. Um, favorite moment, probably winning homecoming also. Yeah, it was pretty good. Let's go with that before we uh, get into this week's action. Homecoming is always a big game because it's, you know, a lot of the alum come, a lot of fans come. And, uh, you know, in this part of the season, this was the end of three games out of the first four at home. How crucial was it to, to get that victory 38 38-17 over Saskatchewan uh, last week. Yeah, we needed a win. We were 2-1, and one, or sorry, 1-2, and two, and one more loss would have not put the nail in the coffin for not getting into playoffs, but it definitely wouldn't have helped our case. So uh, now it helped us with the playoff run. we got to keep winning games. We're still not where we want to be, and we're going to try and do our best to get where we want to be. Bammy, how confident were you guys going into homecoming? Uh, we were confident. We did a lot of preparation. We knew how important this game was. We only played them once, so because you won, we have the tiebreaker, so we kind of knew what we had to do and we were able to get it done. Uh, it was an interesting game. It was actually, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, we've been behind every, every game at halftime for the start of the year. How about that one? Did you know that one? No, but that's not a good sign. But here's the deal. We bounced back again against Saskatchewan uh, where we were behind. We had a huge second half there. What, what adjustments or were there changes or just more about just better execution the second half for, for offense and defense? Better execution. We took our shots. We converted on a couple. I mean, the athletes on their team just didn't compare to the athletes on our team in, in some cases, and that's kind of where it paid off. I don't know if you knew this, Bammy. You only uh, allowed 99 yards in the second half. Pretty impressive for the defense. Good team, Saskatchewan. They were ranked eighth going into that game. Uh, yeah, like uh, we kind of knew in the second half we had to win the possession in 10 uh, battle on first down. We knew if that if we got them in second and long, we can uh, get off the field on uh, third down. So we were able to do that in the second half. Talking Bison football, Bami Adewale and uh, Tail Dazar. Congratulations. We're going to rename the award, I think, after you. Bison Sports Smitty's Athlete of the Week for a third year, third week in a row. That's uh, pretty good. You guys, you, you just keep putting up big numbers of your offense there. How, you know, this offense, you know, first game we kind of sputtered a bit, but the last three games has kind of been pretty high octane. And you got so many different receivers you're throwing to. Like, is it just kind of clicking now, the, sort of what's, what's the plan that, that you can find, uh, you know, your groove in this offense? I think a lot of it has to do with comfort and just feeling out a defense, knowing where to be. Guys, the receivers are getting better at understanding what we're trying to achieve as an offense. You know, it's, it's difficult. We lost three veterans last year, right? So all, all the guys that were starting in the, in the first game were basically rookies, right? So they made the adjustments. They're finally kind of, you know, Three yards, three yards wider, or three yards deeper. You know, the, those are those matter for routes, and and I think uh, passing wise, we're doing a great job running. Our O line's been doing a great job of blocking. Uh, the O line's been ridiculous, right? Yeah, I mean, the O line's hasn't let, allowed a sack yet this year. Um, That's crazy. That's crazy. You know, I give kudos to Coach Watson for that. He's done a great job of prepping the guys for what's to come. I think uh, you know, offensively, yeah, we've been producing a lot of big numbers, but. We got to produce more. I mean, we're only at 65% completion, I think, so that's room for 35% of improvement, in my opinion. We have an interception last game. We can get rid of that. You know, incompletions. There's always. I'm a perfectionist, right? If I'm not throwing 100% for 100 touchdowns, then something went wrong in the game, and you know, that's just kind of how it is. I'm gonna tell you right now. If you get that in a game, you're gonna win Player of the Week again. <laughs> that just just letting you know right now, straight up there. That just that's gonna happen. Bammy, the defense has really been gelling the last two three weeks here. Really kind of coming together here. What's uh, is it just? And you got a lot of moving parts too. A lot of the secondaries had different people and stuff. How's that kind of fit together and? and still being a good unit? I think our defensive coordinator, Coach Pierce, has been doing a good job of preparing us in film, like going over adjustments. We do sometimes walk and talk for 30 minutes before practice just to know exactly how we're going to play every formation, just going into the details. And yeah, just basically when offense runs stuff, you basically know what they're going to run. And 
that helps a lot when you know exactly what they're going to do. Bison football this Friday, uh, September 30th, uh, 8 o'clock kickoff. It's on CanadaWest.org. It's the defending CIS champions. We played them back a preseason in Vancouver Island. We did not bad. We won 50-7, to seven, but that's exhibition. That's preseason. That doesn't count. This is the one that counts. This is the one we only play them once this year. Uh, what do you expect against the T-Birds uh, this week? Uh, yeah, like you said, that exhibition game didn't really matter for much. We came in week one and lost to Calgary at home, so we thought we were a lot better than we were. So UBC wasn't a great team at that point to measure where you stand in the in the standings. But you know, now they're coming together. They look a lot better on film. Their athletes are moving quicker. I don't know if guys are back healthy or what it is for their team, but they're they're looking like a really good, talented football team. So it's going to be a tough win for us if if we can go out there and. Uh, do our best and execute and you know prepare as best we can it'll be a competitive match but there's no way you can guarantee we'll win against a team like UBC they're, they're last year's national champs I mean how do you compete with that well, we're gonna try yeah, that's exactly. that's that we're gonna show up there and we're gonna do our best that's for sure Bammy uh, you know uh, O'Connor who's uh, you know a pretty good quarterback there yeah. what do we do to try and uh, slow him down uh, this game well what what you can do is just kind of take away like his uh his his favorite plays his favorite throws like uh don't give away all the state secrets all right yeah. you, you can't take away everything from a guy like that but if you can take away his initial reads his first check his his primary options and make him work the second ones then uh, we have a good chance of containing him. Well, let's have a good chance. Let's have a good game. Let's keep this rolling. Two-game win streak. Want to make it three. All the details on Bison football will be on GoBisons.ca. Bami Alawali and uh, Tail Dazer, appreciate your time. Hey, buddy. Thanks a lot there. And you're listening to This Week in Bison Sports on UMFM 101.5.